you've just set up a telemetry app and you don't know how to use it or what to do, what to look for. Well, but good for you, you have clicked on this video and this video will explain it for you to how to set up these, to set up a car using telemetry. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you a lap I did around Montreal in the Formula Ultimate Gen 2. And because I've been trying to set it up and make a good setup, but I'm having quite a few issues with the car. So let's get into the video and let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is the video. So let's watch it. So here I'm breaking in. It's going to be a little bit too much. Coming a bit colder tires. They do heat up. Let go. Wait. If we just listen to the audio from here roughly, just listen. You hear the air. There you hear me, the car bottom out a bit. And there you hear me locking the brakes a bit. And that will, the locking of the brakes you will hear quite a bit. Just trying to turn it to try and push it. This was the quickest clap I did that session. And you can see it just feels like they're bottoming out. It just feels like it doesn't want to turn with me, but then sometimes I feel like the rear wants to turn quite a lot. Those are the main points from sort of here. But then also this track I don't really like because I'm not used to it and that chicane feels quite awkward. So they're locking up the brakes again. And here I don't feel like I have a ton of turning but it looks quite good. DRS activation down the main straight. You can see that that bounce also destroyed my lap time. But I still gained on my previous best. So you can see here that m my potential, yeah, it can go quicker through, what's it called? Yeah, through the first sector where I lost a lot of time. So 13.3 is possible. But let's check the telemetry to see if we can see anything. So here I have Motec, which is my mine of choice, my telemetry software of choice. Then if we show data here, I've chosen my quickest lap. They can see here it's very star. It's very like you go 100, break, and then 100 again. So it's not really modulating the throttle a lot. Only happens like through the chicanes, like you can see yeah, here. This is one of the, these sector two basically is the one I don't really like. Then you can see yeah, here and then here. Also you can see I'm trail breaking quite a bit through this corner and then try and get on the power quite quickly. But it just feels awkward to me. Then here you can also see a yeah, throttle position. You can see it's very low or very high. It's not really a lot in between. Then braking, yeah, this shows that, hmm. If we check here, this is yeah, the traction circuit. So you can see I'm braking quite hard, quite a bit. And then the downforce is quite, mm, a, yeah, it's quite high. The lateral G forces, but they're hmm. I'm doing this live for you so you would so you understand what I do. So I go through these to have a look. And you can see it seems a bit odd because also here the lower speeds if we check here, what's the ground speed on this? Over two hundred and then here hundred. So that seems interesting. Hmm. Yeah, this is you have to like go through these and just check if there is anything then i like to look 
at these track inputs here you can see here you it's i'm breaking here here i'm trail breaking quite a bit but not the ton here i'm also doing it quite a bit but it seems like maybe i should trail break a bit more to try and slow down the car a bit more and here you can also see the g forces so you can see it's fairly it's close to like four at certain points like here 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 it's the highest then track speed doesn't say a lot banking then you have the map which shows the racing line and yeah it doesn't show a ton but it's through here so if we just check traction you can see it you can see here i got quite a bit yeah i have high wheel anger here high high wheel anger here we understand and here yeah you sh we should also understand but a lot of the a few of these i don't really understand what they fully do so that's if you can understand like this one i don't really understand fully i will have to do a bit more research on it but if you know anything just comment down below if you can help me too then slip angle doesn't look so weird yeah here you can see i get through here which is if we go back to driver to map is there okay so yeah you can see i'm locking the brakes here and it slips quite a bit you can see yeah in the lower speed yeah the rear has quite a bit of slip and i'm trying to just push the throttle but the issue is that it doesn't i don't feel like i have a ton of traction and actually if you just check here it seems like the actual lo locking is not the issue because something you can see is if the wheel slip within left and right is high because that shows if it's high then it shows that one wheel is spinning and then you should probably lock the brake lock the diff to lessen it but you can see here that it's roughly both of them so yeah like here i'm pushing it quite a bit and then here too so it's just seems like the rear doesn't have the grip so maybe i have to play around with the tires then you can check the aerodynamics yeah you can see here if we check the percentage it's roughly 0 0.5 but then you go to higher speeds. Yeah, what seems like here it does a big jump. Oh, when I'm braking. But let's check the main street. Yeah, so roughly 0 0.5, 0 0.6. And if we just check the maths again. Yeah, it's the rear. So the rear has a bit of downforce. But not super much, it seems. Which is interesting. Hmm. Yeah, if we check here, the tire slip front, you can see quite a bit of locking. And then the rear, you can see quite a bit of spinning. So I don't fully know what might be the cause. Well, I know sort of that it's the something to do with the, hmm, what's it called? Something to do with... Oh, I've got total brain thoughts. Yeah, but it's something to do with the rear grip. And this is a new channel I'm starting to look into. Or is this the proper one? Let's check the maths. No, this isn't the proper one, but I'm starting to trying to develop a proper drag channel. I do, it doesn't seem like I have the real, the correct one here. I have to just transfer, but... Yeah, I'm trying to develop a equation. And there you can see here, the dampers, you can see, yeah, it seems like the damper velocity, it's quite a lot in the low speed. Yeah, very, uh, quite a bit. So, mm, that could show something because what I think is that, hmm, hmm, 
maybe I should stiffen the... Yeah, you need this to be... I don't remember fully, but I remember that you don't want it this high of a number. So I do need to soften... I think I need to soften the low because it's a bumpy track. So that's what you want to have a look at. Then if we check the right height detailed, yeah, you can see here. So when turning, I think this is, you can see that it's, there is quite a bit of bottoming out. So after, and it's also happening, yeah, it seems like it's happening when turning. So I should probably stiffen up the springs because I have the roll bars at the stiffest and that doesn't seem like it has done a ton what's also interesting here is the rake goes negative maybe that's the issue wait if we check like here now the rake goes dramatically forwards and then here when I start to turn it goes negative Oh, because rake is rake is how much what well in this equation it's how much higher the rear is compared to the front so you want the rake to be positive because if it's negative a lot of weird things can happen so that's probably what's happening here so it goes down by a few millimeters but what's interesting is that it's happening if we check here, ground speed, yeah, it's happening. Uh, wait, what's happening here? It's slow at 275, and then at 290, it increases. That's really odd. Because, hmm. Yeah, because you can see here, it accelerates, so the rear dips down it seems and then it just goes up could it be due to acceleration if we check the longitudinal g-forces no it seems to be like consistent and then it goes like that hmm that looks really weird i'll have to check the beta if it's that but i have a few theories because i lowered the rear quite a bit so it might be due to that but still it's a very odd behavior you can see here the rate just lowers here and then yeah it's, it looks very odd this is shouldn't happen so that's very weird then the tight amps here, you can see they are not the highest. And the pressure looks a bit. Hmm. The pressure looks like it's lowering, so I need to increase tire pressure. So that's interesting. Then if we have brakes, yeah, drivetrain looks roughly the same. Oh, here is my drag force calculations. So you can see here. Diff to drag, yeah, roughly 3.6, but now I need to add rolling resistance here. I figured out the an equation for it. Then if we go to drivetrain, yeah. So that's my takeaways from reviewing my footage and the telemetry. is because you could see in the video, I was really confused to why I had such weird down for no why so low grip and then after checking the telemetry it looks like hmm it looks like there, there's something going on with the rear that it's just lowering and then at a certain speed it just increases so i wonder if the third if the third spring is acting up because that seems really odd but what do you think about all of this? Comment down below. Once you're done, please hit the like button and also subscribe. My next video, we'll have to see what it's on. But after this, maybe we might do another guide. Let's see. But until then, 
I've been Racing Legend. You've been my amazing videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.